Hi everyone, today we are talking about the brand Demelier London. I've done quite a bit of research on this brand and I'm thoroughly impressed. So let's start with history. This is the woman behind the brand. Her name is Mireya. She's originally from Spain but now lives in the UK with her family. She's got an all female design team based in London where they come up with beautiful, modern, timeless, and practical designs for the everyday woman. The designs are all created in London and then workshopped in Spain, in the south of Spain, since the 1980s. They also have a commitment for every piece sold. They donate for vaccines and treatments to children in impoverished communities. This was actually the original name of the brand before it changed to Demelier London after receiving international acclaim and recognition. Now let's take a look at some of their designs. This is one of their most popular best-selling handbags today. This is from their Vancouver collection. As you can see, it's a shoulder bag that can be worn short, also longer, and as a crossbody bag. Very simple, minimalist, timeless. Hardware is beautiful. You have two different sizes, the original on the left and the small size on the right. Many of you have asked me about this bag in the past, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I don't think you can go wrong with a bag like this. It's practical. It's for every day you can dress it up or down like this lady here who dressed it down with some ripped jeans and some converse sneakers it looks so fun and the black one so chic right uh, you cannot go wrong with the black one so this is very very popular today and this is what it looks like on the inside it's very nicely organized you've got the main compartment you've got a zippered compartment and an extra outside pocket so this is the stitching, the grain leather, it all looks to be quite nicely done. I've heard wonderful reviews about the quality, the craftsmanship, and how light some of these bags are. Even the bigger bags are supposed to be quite light, which is bonus for me. Look at this gorgeous green one. It's like this emerald deep green. Here it is up close. The leather looks very supple and nice. Again, everything is made in Spain, designed in London. So let me know what you think about this bag. They're coming out with suede versions as well, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I have been doing my homework on suede leathers these days. Here's Kate Middleton. She's got her very own Demelier bag, and it's this little one here with a top handle. This one is from the Montreal collection. I'll talk about the other collections in a moment as well. It looks kind of small, but it's actually not that small as you'll see in a minute. Here's a clip from one of my friends on Instagram, The Little Bean. She packs so much into these little mini bags, as you can see, and it's actually quite impressive. This little Montreal top handle bag on the nano size, it packs a punch, so not to be underestimated. And you can see how neat and organized it all looks in there. Voila, right? my goodness so let me know what you think of the vancouver bag before and this montreal bag there's also the larger montreal as you can see that is worn crossbody here and i love that all of the collections are named after places so you've got the cons montreal new york paris phoenix santorini tokyo and vancouver here's the paris collection this is one of their newer collections and i have to point out the prices from demelier are absolutely more than fair look at this the prices are in the hundreds not even close to the thousands and nowadays there's such a markup with these high-end designer brands look at this paris clutch it's elongated it's gorgeous the tokyo collection also has been catching my eye for the simplicity again look at these prices beautiful leather made in spain there's actually a bag that i'm eyeing specifically and let me see there it is on the right it's the tokyo tote not that i need another tote bag but this looks so pretty look at it it is absolutely classic and it will be a workhorse it will carry so much but look at the design it's so subtle the corners are folded do you see that there are actually feet on the bottom of this tote and look at the beautiful closure this gorgeous polished hardware simple sleek not overdone here is the interior you've got a long large roomy zippered compartment there are other open compartments on the other side and then the main compartment you've got this gorgeous contrast stitching on some of the bags this color 
You guys know I'm a sucker for caramel brown, but they have so many beautiful colors. You guys, you have to check out their site. So this is the black one with the white contrast stitching. There's also this olive green color. I feel like olive green is trending right now. I see a lot of brands coming out with this color. And then you've got the suede. Yes, I'm loving their new suede variations. This is a chocolate brown look at the suede quality you can just see if you run your fingers or hands over it you can just see how beautiful it's going to be right do i need this bag you guys tell me be honest with me look how gorgeous this chocolate is it is so yummy okay then you have it also in black you've got the black suede and these are all under 600 dollars. it's amazing and look how much fits inside all right Moving on, this is the New York collection. You guys know I am a New Yorker and I am smitten. I'm smitten with this New York collection. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna get into all the details on this bag, but I already texted my friends saying that I want one of these. <laughs> so you just have to help me decide. This is the original big size New York bag. You can see the long top handles can go over the shoulder. It's gorgeous. Visually, I feel like this bag is beautiful. I love the aesthetics. I love how it looks structured but soft. And it comes in a variety of different leathers. Here's the croc one, different colors. I mean, this is pretty big though. I mean, it's big for me. If you love big bags, this bag is gorgeous. Look at it. And it's got feet on the bottom. You've got the large size on the right. And then you've got the midi size, which is a little bit smaller on the left. And you've got shorter top handles. Here it is again on the left is the larger size on the right is the midi size but in this picture the midi looks quite small in contrast but let me show you some mod shots here we have the midi size and it's in the crook of the arm it can't go over the shoulder but beautiful crook of the arm look here don't you think tell me if you agree or not in the comment section here it is again i think it's a beautiful bag it looks like a flower like an, a tulip almost the way it opens on the sides it also comes with a strap only the midi size comes with a strap if you want it to be hands-free and this is just so pretty so so pretty you guys and it's light i keep hearing that it's lightweight It'll fit a 10 inch iPad, all your essentials. I mean, for a medium size bag like this, it's gonna fit a lot, an umbrella, all this, your notebook, your agenda, your phone. Absolutely love how you can just throw all of your stuff in without overthinking it. It's not one of those bags where you have to play Tetris with your items. I feel like I'm definitely gravitating more towards bigger bags these days versus my mini bags. And I'm curious if you're feeling the same. I don't know why that is, but my eyes are drawn to the bigger bags these days. Here is the inside. You can see it's quite roomy. It also has a zippered compartment, lots of snap closures as well to keep the bag together. Look at it. And there's this new striped version that they came out with for summer, which I think is so, so adorable. And there's just so many different variations, colors, leathers that you can choose from, the sizing. So I am really drawn to this. You guys, let me know what you think. Do you own a bag from Demelier London? And if you do, what has your experience been like? Please share your feedback down below. Have you been eyeing any of the bags recently? Which ones? Um, I am... 99% sure I'm going to pick up a bag from here. Oh, by the way, this is the New York bag in the mini size, which I didn't talk about. Okay. And again, the striped one. Oh my gosh, this big oversized black and white striped one is gorgeous. I know it's seasonal, but it's beautiful. So let me know what you think about the brand overall. Please vote which one I should consider buying. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.